Do you have a favorite pair of running or tennis shoes? No matter how much you spent on them, they may be hurting your feet, your ankles, even your knees. Well, Laura Harris is taking action for your health tonight with what you need to know about your shoes before you take another step. Walking and running are great ways to stay fit, but did you know that with every step, you could be doing more harm than good? Everybody's going to have a little bit different of a stride, different gait. And the shoes need to be different, too. According to the folks over at Fit to Run in Tampa, if you're not paired with the right pair, you could be looking at some long-term damage. So how do you make the right choice? They say a gait analysis is the way to go. How they're striking down on the treadmill, we look for neutrality, overpronation, or supination. And based off of what we see from the gait analysis, we recommend what type of shoe would actually work out for them. Supernation meaning your foot turns out when you walk or run. Pronation is when the foot turns in, with some in between. All of which can be analyzed by first stepping on the pressure sensing technology to see what parts of your foot take the brunt of your movements. Then the treadmill cam shows how you run or walk, helping you understand which shoes are right for you. Sim says spending cash on the right shoes will help you save money in the long run, but you don't have to take her word for it. This is the ankle. Dr. Roy Sanders, orthopedic surgeon with Florida Orthopedic Institute, agrees. Sometimes over long periods of time, if you don't correct the problem using the right shoe, uh, then you end up with uh, knee and ankle arthritis, and then you'd actually need surgery. For more information on how and where you can get your free gait analysis, visit the Seen on TV section of abcactionnews.com.